What's up, blockchain? How y'all doing today? I'm coming at you from all over the place, doing a little bit of this and that, hoping you're having a hell of a great crypto day with profits falling all over you, even though price is slumping. And um, yeah, five, four, seven, six, six. And here's a really interesting thing about right now is like all the mic market cipher indicators saying we're bottomed and it's about to pump. But then you have all this other stuff. Bitcoin continues to slump. Indicators point towards further rejections and all this. Um, for the correction ahead, Bitcoin price remains nearly 10% below recent highs. The major cryptocurrency continues slump after early next week's sell off, early last week's sell off. Anyway, you know, those of us on the longer time frame obviously don't care, but if you're, you know, if you're trading leverage and all that good stuff, you need to know all this up to date stuff, right? Um, so, right now, it's very interesting because pretty much market cipher on every single in. In every single indicator, you know, in every single time frame is saying the market's bottomed, it's going up. A lot of um, heavy hitter YouTubers are also saying the same thing. And then you got a whole bunch on the other side saying we've got, um, you know, further corrections ahead. And so uh, we will see. I find it very interesting. Like, uh, you know, you got uh, like Face and BitBoy saying going up. Alexander Lorenzo saying pointing towards down so it's really fun when that stuff happens because you know it can go either way pretty interesting story 1.2k stimulus check now worth 10.2 thousand if you had purchased straight bitcoin and i i uh i just had it lost another twitter account <laughs> so there's a new link in the bottom for twitter account um Click on that one if you want to follow that. I send out a lot of price alerts and uh, different stuff and put all my videos up there and all that good stuff and talk a lot of, you know, crypto trash and all that. So um, <laughs> somehow my other account got suspended here. I'll show you that. When I come to my um, my Twitter account here, see I'm, you know, like researching quick cook protocol. Let's, let's follow them. Your account is suspended and is not permitted to follow users or do anything else. Like if I want to uh, like this post here, uh, your account is suspended and is not permitted to perform this action. And, you know, I go and looked at the rules and regulations and it doesn't really say anything. <laughs> no big deal. Freaking Twitter. What a joke. So, you know, followed a whole bunch of uh, new and interesting people. And uh, let's follow the Duck Dow incubator. Oh, can't do that. But uh, yeah, I started another Twitter account over here. Ooh, this one's interesting. Brave browser to integrate dedicated, dedicated Binance Smart Chain DeFi wallet. That means all Brave browsers. So, you know, there, I've seen a lot of recent FUD and people, you know, calling for uh, price corrections for um, um, B and B and all this good stuff. And then you get some banging news like this. Brave browser to indicate dedicated Binance Smart Chain DeFi wallet pre-configured into the Brave browser. That means everyone using the Brave browser will now instantly have a BNB wallet. You know, most of these guys got MetaMask anyway, so if they really wanted a BNB wallet, it'd be right there. But just the fact that it's built into the Brave browser will put a lot more eyeballs on it, give a little more legitimacy. Not that it really needs that, but uh, I find that to be pretty cool. <laughs> you know, that should be a, uh, a bullish sign regardless and if not it will be uh you know be interesting to use so why not give that a why not give that a try that's the way i figure about that so back over to uh rands this is like a new uh rands is a, is a news feed that um takes a whole bunch of different crypto um news centers and compiles them into one feed and uh it sucks because they don't have B, uh, btc manager in here which is one of my favorite news feeds but it's got a lot of bunch of the a lot of the other ones and so that's pretty cool yeah but stimulus checks now worth 1.2 that came out at 1.2k are now worth 10.2k and since everyone's coming in with stimulus money and i saw that the um <clears throat> that the inflows onto exchanges are at an all time high. Um, and that's because of those stimulus checks. There's a story here, crypto exchange inflow swell as stimulus checks arise, arrive. Um, but will it matter? Well, of course it matters. It matters for all those people because if they buy Bitcoin, then it's going, you know, in the long term, they're hoping that that story, you know, of <clears throat> your stimulus checks now worth 10 grand, 
they hoping that's the case for them that they're gonna buy some bitcoin wait for a little while and it go up 10 grand and it very well you know my opinion in the long run it will and uh, might turn a whole bunch of people into uh bitcoin hodlers i'm so pretty <laughs> pretty bullish there let's see analysts say 60k bitcoin price signals has ample room to run this was a week ago and now they're already calling for the same people calling for a price drop but a price correction and it's, they're so fickle right 54 point 54 thousand and there's a lot of good buys right now polka dot at 34 dollars chain link short was it is it 27 i saw it 26 earlier um and got a lot of uh a lot of room to go let's see i personally bought some um some icon i just bought a big bag of icon i think we got an easy 10x there if not more in this bull run and uh i you know i do that to buy more bitcoin in the in the long run right i think icon's a great project but in the long run i plan to 5 10x there and throw that back into bitcoin because is bitcoin gonna 5 or 10x from here by the time icon fives or 10x not in my opinion of course this is not financial advice rothschild investment again raise stakes in the grayscale trust so pretty interesting there did you guys see energy has its own um swap feature now um you can come in here and into energy swap and yeah pretty much zero fees swap so uh if this thing is getting bigger and bigger and um there, there's quite a few pairs but there's more pairs like all the time um falling into this but they got swaps they got pools they got it all i'm gonna go over here and do a little bit of that because if there's ever gonna be any you know what do you call it uh, if there's ever gonna be airdrops involved with this then uh, i definitely want to be in on those and uh anything building on the uh, energy blockchain yep definitely gonna be uh, bullish on that um what's going on with daisy daisy is about to launch and um, we're days away they've got this whole thing split up into 11 smart contracts i've rebuilt this whole system here took out the old videos that didn't really matter added a whole bunch of new videos made it a lot easier to get <coughs> to the different pages and all that and added some uh, different trading proof videos and all that good stuff there is definitely some more i want to do with the system here but this is a duplicatable system but also we're running a team rotator so if you are going to be on my daisy team send me your link once this thing gets launched and uh, i'll get you on the uh, you know i'll verify you're actually on my team but then i'll get you on the on the rotator i've got a bunch of ads i've been purchasing and have purchased i just threw uh 200 into hashing ad space on and picked up their um unlimited banner ads um like some sort of promotion they had going on i buy every time that they do it and so um yeah looking to use that here and then for the team and then also i'm on all sorts of stuff the newest one is crowd traffic and uh yeah just keep loading up all those crypto traffic um exchanges and there's no reason to talk about them all because uh you know as long as i'm but the point is i will do a like a proof of advertising video and show you guys all the places where the um daisy rotator is located but as far as the updates go on on daisy the latest updates from daisy regarding the relaunch and what you need to know you need you need tron um you, you know it's paying out in usdt now as you guys are familiar the tron version so with your tron wallet send over some um send over tron, send over tron and send over usdt and it's just the 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 usdt version you can't miss it you can send them the same address you know it's no big deal it will fall in here you'll see it and so you send the tron version of usdt from whatever exchange who works great and send yourself over some tron you will need tron in order to pay for the the fees and all that good stuff load yourself up some good energy and some good bandwidth and uh, you'll get uh, you know all those fees will most of them will be coming back to you but uh, there's all that and so you need Tron and you need but you need USDT in order to pay for your levels you know so there's the hundred dollars and then as you go up I think most people are familiar with that if you're not you should really watch the the uh, previous Daisy videos or go to you know go to the link in the description and click over to that click over to this daisy site and check out some of these videos 
this is the most legit, legit and crazy thing to ever be offered to us. And it's through Indotech, which is, um, you know, leaders in algorithmic um, trading. So here's the market analysis. We're at gray right now. That's cool. So normally it's green or red. And it will pretty much tell you when you're over here exactly what the sentiment is for the market and so it's funny that it's in between that's what their alg their ai is saying so we have market cipher saying that we're going up we have all these other indicators saying that we're going down and the ai here at endotech is reading neutral so that's pretty interesting 1.67 trillion in the current market market capitalization for crypto and we've seen that as just the other day at an all-time high of 1.8 and uh, we've been hanging around 1.7. So the market cap is a little bit low, but there's all that. And as you know, there's a whole bunch of, of volume at 47,000 for, for, for Bitcoin. And then we have our CME gap somewhere around, I think it's like, you know, somewhere around 53. So, you know, what could it do? Go to 50 and then pop? Sure. But if, uh, it's just really interesting right now. So we'll see <laughs> good times ahead. Um, I don't really have to worry about that at the moment because I am, uh, you know, trying primarily trading with the Bix Gap bot besides my all my own trading, which uh, it's all spot trading. And so, you know, got got quite a bit of money over at CoinX trading, quite a bit of KuCoin. And then, of course, I don't trade at Coinbase. I just purchase crypto there and send it out because... Uh, well, all sorts of different tax and legal reasons, but uh, there's all that. So Daisy is getting ready to run. Let's go through the rest of this. Blow is a guide to new preparations. You need Tron. You need, of course, the Tron Link wallet. It, they're doing the they're doing the migration and uh, the date. Like they said, looking for the t probably 20, 24th or twenty fifth. They said that they need at least forty eight more hours in order to make sure that every every everything is right. But our team is looking great, and we're going to be popping. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm, you know, I like Daisy a great deal, and it's probably the most solid thing that's ever come our way. And so that's pretty cool. Let's see. Over at HyperFund, um, things just been killing it for me. I'm making, you know, about 100 bucks a day there. I've got, oh, you know, like a couple different accounts and, uh, oh, this is actually the GridNet white paper. Um, this is very interesting. This is this new project I'm looking into. Um, didn't really mean to talk about it. I just accidentally come to it. But uh, there's no coin. There's no nothing yet. This is early, 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 early. And I started talking to the developers and uh, hitting them up on Twitter and different places, trying to uh, be involved. The All of it is very interesting. These guys are super innovative, and they are pretty, pretty much code nerds. So <laughs> I like that. So anyway, one to keep an eye on. I got 21,429 coming back out of this account. And then, you know, the MOF chart has just been crazy, right? So like if you're, uh, we're at 46 cents now and the MOF chart has just been dancing all over the place. Look at this thing now down to 43 cents. It's terrible. <laughs> So I just got some MOF here. I was hoping that there would be another bump, but uh, it looks like I'm gonna be holding the bag for a minute because I'm gonna put this up for sale about 51 cents and hope that it rides. But I imagine we're gonna come back down here and test 42 cents. We're almost there and then I'm expecting a bump after that. Remember, this coin has a lot of institutional manipulation from it and you know, I found a really great way to make a whole heck of a lot more with your earnings from MOF. Um, what I've done here is over on Bitsgap, which I'm just loving. Um, if we come over to my bots here, I mean, even when everything's tanking, I mean, you see all these prices are all these prices are down. I'm still way up on pretty much most of my bots, and when Bitcoin pumps. These bots are going to kill it. Now, if you watched my video the other day where I called Cody, uh, told you to buy it at 37 cents, it's uh, now at 50 something cents, and we're still dipping. But 
Look at one day I made 8.9% in trading profits. That's not normal. That's pretty extreme. That's pretty great. But here I've been making 3.92% a day on BitTorrent ETH. But come down a little bit farther. There's Cody. 3.6% a day. Pretty insane. Um, bots just been killing it. Um, I got a BitScrap group going. If you um, get in on BitScrap, we will help you. We will walk you along. And you get a bunch of free signals that I pay good money for. Um, simply for... Uh, we caught some wick here. It's not even showing up. Um, simply for being a part of the group or being a you know being on my team. But if you're on in Hyperfun, I just want you to consider this. You know, it's twenty dollars a month to have two bots running, and you could have that bot trading your MOF for you. And the way the bot works, it trades on MOF like you can't believe. I got on my demo account because. I'm not currently on an exchange except for who that has MOF, but I'm gonna get there because um, this I'm about to show you. So here's the MOF chart. You can see it's like gone up, it's gone down. I started my bot right here. So it's went up and now the, pri the, the price of everything in that bot is, is worth a lot less, right? So it should be negative in overall value. And it is, but only for a little while because as soon as this thing pops or does anything else, like even when the price was about here, I was still deep in profit. And right now it's building profit. So just into trading the crypto, it's been making, I've had this running for two days and 19 hours. It's been making 5.17% a day. So I'm up 10.34% in crypto. And this number was green up until just you know, just until we had this latest giant dip that just happened. And so this negative percent, if you had been holding all this crypto from here to here, would be a heck of a lot more. It would be <laughs> one more time there. Okay. You would be losing right to here. 30, 30.4%. 30 so 30%. You'd be down 30% in what you had you know, especially if you're at the top, what you had made. So that's the difference in price, but it's only showing a 3% break, which is killer. So yeah, things have been going great over here at BizCap. This is the passive income bot. It's um, is very easy and it's very usable and it's very simple to set up and it's made for anyone. You don't have to know how to trade. You don't have to be an expert trader. And the big news is that they are working hard on a leveraged bot and uh, that works on, uh, you know, trades futures and whatnot. But, um, you know, for me, like I like trading leverage and all that, but I will trade a lot more when this bot comes out. I'm gonna be using the heck out of it, walking you guys through it and doing all that good stuff. But in the meantime, the grid bot, like I showed you, 5% a day on MOF on my other cryptos here, I'm earning, you know, and especially on these ones that I've had running for a while, like one inch. One inch is way down, but I'm still up. You know, it made, I've been making, you know, total for eight days straight, I've made about 1% a day. That's got me up 7.44% in crypto. And since I'm up 77.4% when the price dropped, and now I'm all, I'm still up 2.77% while everyone else is down, right? And when this price bumps back up to even where it was, I'll realize these gains easily here. Same with here, 4.76 if the price bumps back, you know, making that per day. Oh, it's actually this one went up because that's Adam USDT. I'm actually going to trade that one out for a Bitcoin bot pretty soon. But you can see total 0.59% a day, not bad. Let's see, UBX ETH, I'm way up. Still two, been making 2.2% per day with the bot. And I've been doing that for five days straight. And that gives got me up 11% plus UBX is in, has gone up a little bit. So 13.5 there. Cody, that's my big trader. It's been just ranking it for me. I wish I loaded up a lot more money, like, you know, 4,000 instead of 400. <laughs> you know, when you have... What do I got trading? 17,552. I really wish I had a lot more of that in Cody because, and I did end up getting an, another Cody bot here and it's up in one day, 8.9%. And that one's trading BTC. Pretty nice. I should have done a larger investment in that one too. You never know, right? But all of these 
are ranging up and uh, really just killing it. Um, let's head over to uh, Quibitech. Quibitech has a lot going on, or now Quibit Life. The exchanges are the I pay for the um, I pay for the signals here. I also give those in my group. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Um, let's head back over to my account. I've let's see what's going on with these guys. We can just go through it. Um, they have their own Q chain, which it's pretty pretty impressive. Like everything that they've got going. If you click on this QDT down here, you will see it. Um, but they've they've done a pr uh, private sale. Now they've on to the public sale. Um, give me one sec here. Okay, so over at Quibit Life, man. It, it's just been killer, right? So the payments are so steady. But like I was saying, they got this new thing here, QDT. And they went through the private sale. That's already done. They're now in the public sale. The public sale is going now. And you could go over to like the QChain websites and um, and check that out. This is that it's a whole separate domain, whole separate website, and then they had a whole separate domain for the public for the for the private sale. They got their own wall. This is time release. That's the private sale. So ICO still in progress. All sorts of weird things or all that DeFi stuff that, that everyone else is doing is going to be <coughs> over here on Cubitech or Quibit Life now. You know depending on what you want to call it. But as far as the passive income side of things, um, it's been still just been going uh, crazy well for me, right? I've been pulling out a few hundred. I make probably a hundred a day and um, been up slowly upgrading packages. So instead of buying new packages, I'm just upgrading these $100 ones. Cost $400 to upgrade that to a 500. So um, I'm doing probably, you know, I save like a quarter of it and then reinvest and then take out a, take out uh, th three quarters, invest another quarter, that whole thing. And uh, been going well, man. These guys got a long life ahead of them, I believe, because they have so, so much going on. The payments out here are not ridiculous. 0.93%. That was a great day. 0.23. That was the one of the lowest days I've ever seen, except for once we had a zero day. 0.46, 0 0.61, 0 0.5, 0 0.69. So you know nothing more than you would get at liquidity. You know farming B dollar, right? So they could put this in B dollar and uh, pay off everyone. But with the way their signals go and their trading, they got trading bots. Yeah, Quibit Life. I think probably my top three platforms. So. Uh, Liking that one quite a bit. Okay, that's pretty much everything going on at the moment. Hyperfund doing really well, making good payments there. I had one member who was having a little issue getting the withdrawals. I had to like take his screenshots and send it into the group. And the uh, I have no questions that they'll get him sorted out because everyone else who had a problem got sorted out too. So don't worry, you're being taken care of. Um, the Quibble Life doing really well, paying out like gangbusters. Bits Gap, the passive income bot, is really the creme de la creme. Your money on your exchange, there's very little risk because they're holding the crypto, right? And then Daisy, backed by Indotech, about to launch. I think that is probably the greatest passive income opportunity, uh, backed by the you know number one algo traders almost in the world. Um, it's pretty crazy, you know. Anna Becker's written books, you know. So she's like has math books or algorithm it's and the white paper is the most the longest and most brainiac thing you've ever seen like the white paper between daisy and the white paper between uh the new qdt tokens qd it's super professional the one for uh qdt but it pales in brainiac <laughs> as compared to the anna becker version so anyway, I'm gonna keep sitting over here, ripping the face off the market with BitsGap. I hope you guys will, a couple of you guys will join my team there. Um, been going well in the group, helping people arrange their bots so they're maximizing their profits. I helped someone analyze, figure out how to analyze trends so that they know whether to use the S bot or the classic bot. It's not that hard, it's very easy. And uh, like I said, you don't have to be a great trader and BitsGap is, uh, you know, Trader, great traders, big traders, they hate Spitzcap because it takes the average person 
and generally they can make more profit than those people are with their, you know, with their chasing wicks, little wick hunters. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Crypto music gonna catch you guys on the flip. Hope you have a heck of a great day. Hope you got mad profits falling in your lap. Hope you're excited about some of these projects and uh, keep your head up and turn the mainstream new media news off because they ain't doing nothing but lying to you. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the flip. Uh,